embracing the unconditional love of God. For some, the idea of being embraced and held in the arms of God feels inconceivable. Yet it's precisely in His love that we find safety and security, especially for those who lacked such nurture in their formative years, raised in homes marred by conflict and abandonment. Many learned self-sufficiency as a survival skill, hindering their ability to trust and be loved. Well, welcome to Life as God Intended. I'm glad you've tuned in for another broadcast as we discuss this most important topic of embracing the unconditional love of God. Before we get into the contents, please, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate you sharing these videos with others so that they might be impacted by the love of God and begin to understand their identity in Christ. And thanks for giving a thumbs up to this video and to others and for subscribing and sharing these, as I said, with your friends. So, these struggles that many have experienced in childhood have carried over into adult life and they have deeply impacted our relationships, including our relationship with God. And it's only by understanding ourselves as beloved children of God that we begin to grasp what it means to live love. Now notice, I didn't say love yourself. I said, it's only as you understand that you are loved by God and that you see yourself as he sees you. That's a very important distinction. And this journey that we're discussing here often requires shedding negative perceptions of parental figures and embracing the unconditional love of our Heavenly Father, a love that transcends performance-based expectations. You may have been raised believing that your worth was in direct relationship to how well you performed or didn't perform. That's the big lie, unfortunately. The truth is that perfect love, the love of God, who is love, the perfect love of God dispels all fears, liberating us from the need to earn his affection, overcoming these ingrained trusting issues that many of us developed, whether we were aware of it or not. And this, of course, is a process, but it's a, a necessary process, and it's a journey worth taking. Time is not measured by a set duration, but by the lifetime pursuit of intimacy with Jesus. The, who is the embodiment of love himself. And he'll be your ability to pursue him. That's the beauty of his grace. So Jesus longs to liberate us from bitterness, anger, and self-doubt, replacing them with security and peace in his love. When you and I surrender to his embrace, we find a freedom and security unlike anything the world offers. God's love is not contingent on our actions. It is freely given, allowing us to rest from performance anxiety and simply bask in His unconditional affection. Praise God. For many, accepting God's love requires overcoming years of self-doubt and performance-based striving. Yet, in embracing His love, we discover true freedom and fulfillment, 
no longer bound by expectations, we can fully embrace life as God intended, basking in his bountiless love every moment. Today, let yourself be held by the loving arms of Jesus, knowing that you are cherished beyond measure. As 1 John 3, 1 reminds us, we are indeed the beloved children of God called to live in the fullness of His love. Thanks for subscribing and listening and sharing with your friends. Please leave your comments in the comment section below.